Hey Capricorn, I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for your fate from May 20th to June 20th. Uh, any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box, Capricorn. I do have a personal selling right now. Uh, it's a three question video reading. It's 33, 33. You get it within three business days. We're going to go ahead and begin here for you, Capricorn, and see what we've got. This is for Capricorn, their fate. May 20th to June 20th. What do we got here for Capricorn? Capricorn. Starting off strong. Good. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yeah, this is probably the best one so far here. And you're and I'm halfway through, so yeah, that is saying a lot. Actually, you have the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So this is a card of like planting new seeds, but the energy is like very, very abundant in your reading. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Both of these are really good cards for family. Actually, Ten of Cups is a really good card for family as well, you know? Um, happy home, happy family with the Four of Wands energy. You know, and the Six of Pentacles being your overall Capricorn, it's like you're laying down new roots, and then in the Four of Wands, like, that's a card of laying down new roots as well. So, yeah, you're planting new seeds. This feels really exciting. It feels to me like you've broken away from something here, Capricorn. Like, you've got the full, this is a Uranus card, you know? Um, so, I don't really necessarily want to say that you're rebelling against something. It could simply be that there is something unexpected that relieves you, um, you know, that frees you of a burden or a problem. It doesn't have to mean that you're running away from it. That's not the energy that I'm feeling here. I really feel that Six of Pentacles is some work that you have done, you know, to, to get out of a tough situation here. Mm, Capricorn, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because you have two fours here, okay? So you have the four of wands, and then we have this four of cups energy. So the fours do surround your security, your stability, your safety. So it's like polar opposite energy coming in. I mean, this is crazy abundance coming in here that you're going to be dealing with. Like, you literally have the nine of cups showing up. Um, you can see all these cups surrounding the figure here. Like, this is spirit having your back. This is a really strong support system. Come of you, some of you, uh, you could have a Leo, Aquarius, or a Pisces coming your way as well. Like, I definitely feel that for some, there could be an offer of commitment because like this is truly the like four of wands i mean that's really good card for home like i said really good card for family um all three of those cards are good cards for family the ten of pentacles four of wands ten of cups ten of pentacles is like the best money card in the deck ten of cups is really good for love and just emotional fulfillment in general four of wands you could be celebrating something with friends and family here at capricorn it's just a really exciting and abundant energy some of you could be making a new friend here um, like somebody could be coming into your, into your space, into your circle. Like you could consider this like a trusted individual. And I think you're right about that. This King of Wands energy, some of you, you could be an entrepreneur or you could be exploring that avenue here. So that could be something that's going on as well with that King of Wands energy. And that could be something that leads to a lot of abundance for you, or it's leading to a lot of abundance. King of Wands is like a natural born leader. People could be looking to you for guidance, uh, during this time period as well. Like people who feel they've fallen into a rut, they could be coming to you for guidance or for help. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you, a lot of different offers coming in. Um, some of you, I do feel there could be an offer of commitment, but I also feel there could be um, at least two job offers for those of you who are searching. You have the High Priestess here as well, so I am curious about that. I want to see what's happening with it. What's going on with the High Priestess here for Capricorn? I just feel overall a big money turnaround, but also there's a change in your support system here. And it's not clear to me which one of those things come first. Okay, you have the Six of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords to clarify that High Priestess. A lot of you are getting confirmation, clarity about something that happened in the past. Six of Cups is past energy, okay? Some of you, this could have involved a Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, or an Aquarius here, but I feel like you're getting the truth. I mean, King of Swords, he's the only court card that will face you straight. You know, the rest of them, they like look off to the side, they look down, you know? So that is like a lot, like that speaks a lot about honesty and truth. And so some of you, you could be getting this from that person directly, but it could be from someone else. And that could be that energy of freedom, that energy of relief, feeling liberated because you know the truth, right? That could be what that full card energy is. But really, it feels to me like a clean slate, like a big turnaround in money or a big turnaround in a really tough family situation here. So yeah, um, something is yours as well. Like something is yours. So I don't know what that's, what that's about either, but that's the message I got here. So that's what I'm seeing. Uh, I hope this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be, Capricorn Detail. 
details are down below for anybody who's interested in personals, Instagram, or Patreon. Like I said, I do have those readings selling right now for the time being. They're 33.33. It's a three question video read. You get it within three business days. So everything is in the description if you are interested, of course. But Capricorn, if this is where we part, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.